This video is going to reveal false facts about space that way too many people believe. Is space really freezing? Is the sun actually yellow? Hold on tight as we uncover the truths that Hollywood didn't tell you and reveal the mysteries that have been floating around in space, literally. 1. The sun is yellow. Forget everything you thought about our sun. It's not some bright yellow fireball. It's more of a greenish thing. Turns out, scientists figure out a star's heat by checking out the colors it throws our way. Red is for the cooler ones and blue for the hot shots. Our sun? It throws most of its energy in a greenish wavelength. But because it also emits other wavelengths, all these colors mix together and your eyes see this vibrant mixture as white. That is, if you look at the sun from the International Space Station. From here on Earth, the sun looks yellow because our atmosphere is really good at scattering blue light. And with all that blue wavelength gone, all the other colors combine into yellow. If our star was actually yellow, it would be about 800 degrees Celsius, 1400 degrees Fahrenheit, cooler our solar system's habitable zone would shrink and Earth would become a frozen, lifeless rock. But wait, there's more you've been off about. 2. The sun is on fire, but it's not on fire. There isn't any fire in the sun. Fire requires oxygen and the sun is composed mostly of helium and hydrogen. It doesn't have much oxygen in it. Instead, it works more like a gigantic nuclear reactor, constantly fusing hydrogen atoms to create helium inside its core. This process releases enormous amounts of energy, and that's why the sun is so scorching hot. 3. Explosions in Space Speaking of setting things on fire, let me spill the beans on space explosions. Spoiler alert, they're not a thing. A spaceship wouldn't go kaboom in a wild explosion up there, because space is like zero air. And you know the drill, no air, no oxygen. And no oxygen means no fire. Bummer, right? So sorry to break it to you, Star Wars buffs. 4. Planets orbit the sun. All the things in our solar system are in balance. And even though the Sun is the most massive object in our planetary neighborhood, other planets are participating in this gravitational tug of war. Instead of orbiting the Sun, planets and moons orbit around a central point between them and our star. This point is called the barycenter. For Earth, this barycenter is so close to the Sun's core that there's not much of a difference. But for Jupiter, this point is about 55,000 kilometers away from the center of the Sun. So, the gas giant and the Sun are orbiting each other. 5. You can't count the stars It may seem that there are too many stars in the night sky for you to count. But guess what? You can actually count those. Harvard brainiacs have already done the legwork for you. According to the Yale Bright Star Catalog, there are 9,110 stars up there that you can spot from Earth with the naked eye. Try to count them all for yourself. 6. You can't fly through an asteroid belt. Alright, so in movies, they make it seem like you gotta be some top-notch pilot to weave through the asteroid belt. But hold up, that's not the real deal. It's not this crazy maze of death or anything. Yeah, there are trillions of space rocks, from specks of dust to chunks nearly a quarter of the moon's size. But check this out. About 100,000 of these asteroids are over a kilometer, 0.6 miles, wide. But here's the kicker. They are scattered. This asteroid belt sandwiched between Mars and Jupiter, it's a whopping 225 million kilometers, 140 million miles, wide. That's like one and a half times the distance from us to the Sun. So these space rocks are spread out millions of kilometers apart. 
it's pretty much mission impossible for a spacecraft to bump into one. 7. The solar system stays in place We aren't just sitting in one spot in our galaxy. We're zooming through space at a crazy 220 kilometers per second, 140 miles per second. And get this, it's seven times faster than how Earth does its revolve around the Sun. Our whole solar system needs a whopping 230 million years to pull off one lap around the Milky Way. Wrap your head around this. The last time we were in the same location we are now, Earth had one supercontinent, and the dinosaurs were just starting to roam around. 8. You instantly freeze in space If someone chucked you out of the spaceship into the cosmic void, you wouldn't instantly turn into a human popsicle. See, freezing needs heat to transfer from space to your body. But here's the kicker. Heat or cold doesn't zip around too quick in the vacuum of space because vacuums are poor conductors of heat. Your body would eventually freeze, but we're talking hours, not minutes. And by that time, you'd be gone, probably from something else, not just the chill. 9. Space is cold Okay, so space might seem like it's freezing, but here's the scoop. It's not cold or hot. In reality, space doesn't have a temperature at all. Temperature is all about how fast particles are zooming around and the energy they're packing. But in the true space vacuum, there aren't any particles moving around. That's why the vacuum is temperature-less. Of course, outer space isn't a perfect vacuum. It still has particles and radiation to produce heat. Some areas of space are actually really hot, like space around stars. But the further away you get from stars, the more spread out the particles are, making those areas of space pretty chilly. Some dense gas clouds can get as cold as negative 263 degrees Celsius, negative 440 degrees Fahrenheit. 10. Mercury is the hottest planet Mercury is the closest planet to the Sun, but surprisingly, it's not the hottest. It is extreme though. During the day, its surface temperature reaches 430 degrees Celsius, 800 degrees Fahrenheit. At night, it drops to negative 180 degrees Celsius, negative 290 degrees Fahrenheit. Oof! But the most hellish planet in the solar system is Venus. You see, Mercury doesn't have an atmosphere to retain all that heat from the Sun. The Venusian atmosphere, on the other hand, is very thick, and it creates a greenhouse effect. It's like global warming on steroids, and it makes Venus a hot hell with a surface temperature of about 475 degrees Celsius, 900 degrees Fahrenheit. 11. Earth is a sphere Don't worry, we're not about to tell you that the Earth is flat. But here's a fascinating fact. Our planet isn't perfectly round either. The Earth is actually a type of sphere called oblate spheroid. This means that the Earth is squashed at the poles and bulges at the equator. This quirky shape means that the distance from the center of the Earth to its surface isn't the same everywhere. It's about 21 kilometers or 13 miles longer at the equator than at the poles. While you can't spot this difference with the naked eye, science and artificial satellites help us measure it precisely. Now, why is Earth shaped this way? It's the result of the Earth's rotation. As it twirls, something called centrifugal force comes into play. This force causes a little bulge around the equator and flattens out the poles just a touch. So, if you were to slice through the Earth from the North Pole to the South Pole, it would look like an elongated ellipse, and if you sliced it horizontally along the equator, it would resemble the shape of a circle. Thanks for watching. If you've been as blown away as we have by these space revelations, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more mind-blowing content, and don't forget to ring that notification bell 
so you never miss a trip into the unknown. Got questions or want us to tackle another space misconception? Drop them in the comments below and let's keep this cosmic conversation going. Until next time, space explorers.